in the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing arrays, some problems on arrays. In the, in the previous video, I have discussed a simple program. In this video, I will discuss one more program. First of all, the logic on this whiteboard, then I will show you the output on my laptop, right? The program is what you have to write a program to read some of five students. I am going to take five only. You can take 10, 15 or 50 students. Then calculate sum and average of the marks using arrays, right? So now first of all, we will read marks of five students, right? I am not writing the complete program like header file and all. I will show you that thing on my uh, laptop. I am just writing from the main function, right? So now you have to declare array. I am taking what? Marks. Name of the array is marks because we are taking marks of how many students? Size is 5. Right? Now we have to calculate sum and average. If you calculate sum or average then you have to take two variables also to store these values and then to print. If you have to take two, two variables uh, like you have to what? Declare two variables. First is sum. Now we are going to sum all the you know what uh, five elements of the array the uh, marks of five students so first of all we will see what we will uh, uh, initialize the sum with the zero otherwise it will take any garbage value and it is not going to give you the correct result plus one another variable is average that's it now read how to read five student uh, marks of five students just write down a for loop and using scanner function I hope you are clear with this syntax. Now here not, you will not write A, the, the name of there is marks, marks of I and that is it. Now we have to do what? Sum. Now suppose this is our array, name is what? Marks, 5 student marks, index would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, address would be something like first of all uh, let's take 100 only then 4 then 8 12 and for this element 16 and i'm entering marks of five students using this four loop i i, I hope uh, no need to explain this logic again because i have already discussed in previous videos so directly i'm entering the marks suppose here marks are 10 20 15 uh, and uh, 25 and uh, 7 so marks is array name and it is going to store base address means the first element address that is 100. So it is going to point here. This is internal pointer. Right. So now that's it. Till then we have just completed the working of this, this program. Now how to do sum of these elements. See. Obviously to do sum we have to first of all access these elements and uh, with that accessing we will do sum. So, for accessing one more for loop from 0 to less than 5 and i++. plus plus. And here only, we are not going to print these. We are just going, doing what? Sum of these elements. First of all, we will access 10, then 20, then we will do sum. That is 30. Then 15, 15 would be added here. That is 45. Then 25 would be added in this, like this. Right? So, now what you can do in sum we are going to store what whatever the sum of these arrays so in this we are going to store so sum equal to now what you will write here see just add what in sum whatever the value in sum there we will add these values one by one right so how you access these values name of the array and index is i and i would be from one by one we will access i would be 0 to 5 so this 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 and this and the value would be added to sum and the final sum would be again in the the, the sum variable this is how you will calculate the sum after calculating sum we will do what average so in average variable <coughs> we are going to store average how to calculate average this this sum means total divide by divide by total number of data items total number of students are 5 so sum divide by 5 right and now you can simply print what you want to print sum or average if you want to print both to print 
here i am going to print average so percentage d better to take what percentage f because average would be always be in what the decimal form it would not be like exact integer if you would take take integer average then it will what round off it will print only the integer form of that average so better to take float average and here to print float direct use what percentage f that i'll show you on my laptop here simply i'm using percentage d and what i'm going to print average and that's it now see the working of this for loop because we have already discussed the working till this right we have entered now this one i would be see i variable first of all value would be 0 it is going to take any address like uh, address would be suppose 1000 in memory condition true we will enter here now what is this sum is equal to sum plus marks i first of all this would be calculated and whatever the value in the right side that would be assigned to this sum <coughs> so now sum plus in sum we have 0 first of all 0 plus marks of i right marks is array name i is what 0 marks of 0 this is how we are going to access the first element marks of 0 means this would be accessed i hope you know how to access like we have discussed in previous video that uh, that um, formula is what base address plus i into size of int int y int because i am taking array of integer type marks of 0 10 would be accessed and 0 plus 10 that is what 10 now 10 would be assigned to this sum right so when this this uh, compiler will compile this line what a variable in memory would be created sum and first of all the value was 0 now the value of the sum is 10 and one another variable that is average right and it is containing any garbage value right three variables we have declared suppose it is having any address 2000 it is having address 3000 any address right so now i plus plus now i becomes 1 condition again true again enter here sum plus marks i now sum is what sum value is what now 10 now 10 plus marks of i i value is 1 marks of 1 now address of this 1 this element would be calculated to using this address using this formula and how to access and now we will access this thing so here we have 20 so now 20 would be added now it becomes 30 and 30 would be assigned to again sum so now the sum this value would be overwritten with what 30 i hope now you got why i am taking sum is equal to 0 first of all because at first sum plus 0 if you will not initialize it with a 0 then it would take any garbage value and in that in that garbage value 10 would be added so you will not get the correct result right <coughs> uh, now sum is 30 two elements 20 plus 10 30 yeah fine i plus plus now i becomes what 2 condition true again enter sum now sum is what 30 so first of all from this variable data would be fetched like 30 plus marks of i i is what what now 2 marks of 2 this 15 would be added now it becomes what 45 now 45 45 would be stored in this sum i hope you got the working now you can do for what i is equal to 3 i is equal to 4 and once i becomes 5 condition is not true we will go out of the loop till then sum what whatever what value would be there here in sum sum of all these elements would be what i think sum would be 77 i think maybe it's wrong now next line is this thing average is equal to sum by 5 sum is equal to what 77 by 5 whatever value would be calculated that would be assigned to this average here in this data that would be in floating point right so now better to take here float and for float we are going to print how percentage f so whatever the average here whatever this value in this variable average that would be printed if you want to print sum then also you can print here sum right so this is how i guess you got how to do sum of all the elements of array right a proper example i have done this if a simple program is like how to do sum of elements of all the, the all the elements of the array 
then simply you can do that program also right because this is how we are doing sum right using arrays like 1d array i hope you got this one now let me show you this thing on my laptop so now let me create one more file for this i am taking uh, name marks.c okay header file first of all then you will write what main function and here i am going to take what marks so array name i am taking marks and uh, uh, five students you can take 10 or 15 it's up to you right and one more variable i for loops and we are going to calculate sum and average so we will take sum equal to 0 and one variable that is average ok fine now enter the marks of students so we will enter how using a for loop right and uh, scanf percentage d so here we will write address of array name is marks and here we will write i fine now we are going to calculate sum of all the marks right so here what you will write in one more for loop we will write what i is equal to 0 i less than 5 and i plus plus because we have to access all the 5 elements and then we will do sum what we will write sum equal to sum plus how to access elements of this array name of the array and index i right and after calculating the sum uh, this outside of this for loop now we will calculate what average average equal to what sum what the formula is divide by total number of students that is we have five students and that is it and now I am going to print uh, suppose sum equal to its float so percentage f format specifier and sum and uh, print f slash n for new line average equal to that is also percentage f and the name is avg right that is it let me save it and let me just run it now I hope it will give you correct output. So, it is going to ask enter marks of 5 students we have not written the line like enter the marks of 5 students. So, it is not going to print that line directly you have to enter marks. So, for simplicity purpose I am just entering marks what 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 times 5 sum should be 25 and average should be 5. Sum, are, sum and average these are in float that is why after point, point value will see you can see 25 point till 6 digit, digit it, it is going to print for float right. Now, uh, you can also write here for better understanding before the for loop enter marks of 5 students and now it will ask when you will run it let me save it then it will ask now you will get it better see enter marks of 5 students. So, now let me enter marks again uh, like 34, 56, 78, 9, 10, 1 these are 5 students and marks 178 point this and average is this one. So, I hope you are getting my point. If you want to take marks also in floating point you can take what a float type of array here. Just you have to write down rather than int float marks right and in scanf also what percent is f because it is floating point and uh, any other change no other change. So, let me just save it and uh, let me run it. Sorry, this i should be see it, it, it is giving error this i should be integer. So, let me declare this i in another line int i because i value is like this here where we are taking from 0 to 5. 
So now let me save it and now let me run it. Uh, what error it is giving? Okay, this float zero point zero. So now let me save it and let me just run it. See, it is asking marks of five students. Now I am entering twenty three point forty five, fifty six. 78.9, 99.4, okay, 56.7 and see, sum is this and average is this one. So, you can take integer or float, it is up to you, better to take float, right. So, now that is it. So, now that is it for this video. In the next video, we will see like read elements of array, like 10 elements of array, and in that elements, count how many odd numbers and how many even numbers and then print. So, we will see this program in next video and I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care.